I just made it a couple of kilometers out of Songino. I think this here is the official city limit or so. Um, it's a really small town. It's uh, I think maybe around 600 a thousand inhabitants. They had a small hotel, like one of the hotels is more catered towards uh, Mongolians, so no running water and they have an outhouse in the back. Um, but nevertheless I had a heater, so a warm room, because tonight, as you can see, there's snow. Uh, it got really cold and still I think the temperatures are around freezing. However, there is no wind, so I'm fine. Uh, I can travel for a while and Today I'm going on the largest uh, trip between towns um, for the next 300, 300 or so kilometers there is no town so as it snowed the, all the sand is a little bit wet which makes it great for riding it's a little bit more compact it's, there's no dust coming off of it just amazing um, yeah Temple. It's probably two. I drove for two hours and I finally reached some tarmac, really new probably, um, and that goes on to Ulangom. So from here on, it's smooth riding. <laughs> oh, I've never been so happy in my life. <laughs> the last couple of kilometers were brutal. A lot of sand. And washboard, that was just horrible. But I made it, and I can finally power, like get some miles done. Back to my piano in a suitcase full of clothes. Looking for a better place to hide Right across the border In a broken down sedan With a bottle and a rifle on my mind On and on and on and on The miles stretch for hours The radio keeps spitting out the tunes Every other song is just another Rhythm, another tired lover's tune. It's a long, long way back to Nashville, where I come from, where I've been. It's a long, long way back to Nashville, I promise I'll see you again. This morning, the sun is coming up, and I'm standing on the shore of the Hudson Bay. Over a glass fired violet, silence, silence, calling up the day. And every man is an island, an island, his own special. Well, I made it to Ulaanbaatar, uh, <laughs> to Ulangom. Uh, 
one day from Sanguino to Langom. Here in Langom, it's one of the bigger towns in Mongolia. I am in the Chinggis Hotel, which is one of a couple of hotels here. It's kind of expensive, like 40,000 Tugrik, which is $20 a night. Free Wi-Fi, uh, tons of electricity. They have a, I have a shower and toilet. So the first thing I to did was take a shower. Tomorrow I can hopefully wash my clothes. And yeah, that's it. I made it. <laughs> Can't believe it. It was a really hard day of riding. At least a lot of tarmac, which made it quite enjoyable, but still free in the case is too much. It is too much. Um, I have the, a chair here, table with a big power socket thing. All my stuff is just strewn about. Bed, window, not much to see here. It's kind of cloudy, the window. And of course, the bathroom. Yeah, big bathroom. And yeah. Three. suitcase full of clothes I was looking for a better place to hide Right across the border in a broken down sedan with a bottle and a rifle on my mind On and on and on and on the miles stretch for hours The radio keeps spitting out the tune That was uh, the hardest thing I've done so far on this trip. I just went up this pass, I think there's a name for it. Um, it goes from 900 or around 1000 uh, meters above sea level to over 2000 meters. And it's called Ulan Dava. So we can see here the sign. This is the pass. And that was crazy. Eh? It took me over two hours. I had to let uh, Maxi do her thing and walk next to it and just uh, 50 meters or so to make a break. I'll keep going. It shouldn't be too hard, but there is kind of a pass over there in the distance. There's a, is it there? Yeah, there's the pass. Not too good, not too good. Have a look at this amazing, amazing panorama. This mountain, just look at it, it's amazing. And there's still a little mic city.
battery is no no I made it to Urek Lake. Um, it's a big lake out here. Enormous. And there's really not a lot going on here. I saw one girl and one uh, uh, tourist camp or so. But the way out here was exhausting. Getting up here was crazy. The first pass Oh yeah, I already told you that. On the second pass, uh, I asked in a, at a, a big truck that was coming by, which turned out to be Mongolian military, if they could take me and the moped up, which they declined because the truck was full with people. <laughs> and then when I tried getting up, they actually two of the people from the military truck helped me push up my moped and I kind of stumbled into them on the way here ever so often from here on. It's one mountain range until until the depression where Akit Lake is, where there is the town of Nogunur and the river I have to cross. I really hope the rest of this way here is without is not too steep because otherwise I will be fucked. Yeah, that's just how it is. That's the Akit Lake, Akit Nur, I think. Someone's driving over there. 
in the distance. They just drove past me like 10 minutes ago. Um, I'm here. So from here, it's still 42 kilometers to the next town and 100 kilometers to Zaganur. For me, I will drive towards Zaganur until I reach the, mm, the river down there and I will then try to camp by the river. Oh, uh, good morning. Uh, today uh, is the day of the border dash or run or uh, not really. It's five. I slept at the river I crossed yesterday. Oh, it's another 62 kilometers to Zaganur. Those are probably all off-road and will take quite a while. Night was good. It's cold out, but uh, it was warm. Um, yeah, it's gonna get pretty cold out once I got get outside, because <laughs> the sun is not really up yet. But yeah, we'll handle it. Over there, in the distance, there's Zaganur. So I'm almost through Mongolia. Over there, I'll just fuel up a bit, um, buy some water, and maybe some food. Yeah, no, just some snacks. And then I'll head for the border, which it's now almost nine, which I should make on time before midday or before lunch break probably yeah. these are officially the last kilometers of unpaved road Took 
be there about because my carnet wasn't registered uh, properly by probably a customs official so they stamped it but it was not a computer system however they re-entered it and they stamped me out so I'm now officially in the, uh, in the zone between the borders and I'm approaching the Russian border so I'll have to stop filming